how to combine gradients in Affinity Designer. I'm starting with a rectangle, it could be any shape of course, it's got a solid fill. You can go select the gradient tool and what you can do, you can change the option there, the type, make it elliptical or radial, etc. You can also go over to the gradient swatches and find that in the gradient category and select one of those and then you can continue to modify the gradient. You may have a different set of gradients in your swatches panel. And you can find all these panels via the view menu and studio. So you've got your gradient design there. What you can then do is you can hold down the alter option key and duplicate that design once you've selected it. So you can see you've got now two layers. Of course, they're identical. What I'm going to do is go to a layer menu and transform. And I'm going to flip it. Flip horizontal. Now I'm going to go to the layers panel and I'm going to use the blending modes. View studio and you can see all the panels there. You can change it to say difference or darken or lighten, overlay, etc. or soft light. Just run through them and try them. I'm going to go with difference. You can select both of the layers. And with both of the layers selected, you can right click and then you can select group. The reason I'm grouping because I want to group them for saving to the assets panel. And if you don't do the group, it will separate them. So you can go to the right side of the assets and you can add from selection. You can see your design there. Now what you can do now is you can drag from the assets panel and put it on top of the existing design. And you can do that three, four, ten times, up to you. And everything in the asset has all been preserved. So the grouping, etc., has all been preserved. And the gradients as well. So you can still modify them. It doesn't affect the assets panel. The set the very settings in the asset panel are totally untouched. So you can go back to the layers and you can expand. And you can select one of those rectangles and you can change the gradient. You just move them around. You can change the gradient as well. You can apply swatches. Just select it in the layers panel. And you can change the origin length, origin and length of the gradient. Now, sometimes when you move them around, there hardly seems to be any change at all. And you have to go back and look in the layers to be certain which one you're changing. And of course, you can still go to the swatches panel and add another swatch. And of course, you can make even more complex layers. There. You can just duplicate the rectangle again and again and again and create all kinds of complex designs as long as you use a blending mode or opacity to be able to see the lower layers. Now, everything that's modified is in the group. And you can also go up to the there, the gradient panel, and you can change the stops if you wish. And of course, you can create your own swatches and save those into the swatches panel. And of course, you can resize it or scale the gradient. And you can do exactly the same for the other one as well. So if you want to change that, modify different things and depending on the blend mode you will see different results so you can see it's passed through so you're not going to see much different so you have to change the pass through top one go to it and then change that to difference and now you can see the design so everything below is also seen so any changes you can make will be seen of course what you can do again you can select them all, you can select the lot, and you can group that as well. So they're all now, so it's group, but you can group a group. So right click and then select group. And you can still edit them. And also what you can do, of course, you can go to the assets 
and you can go to the right side menu and add from selection. So that's now stored. And then if you want, you can drag that from the assets into there. And once you've done that, of course, what you can do, you can apply various transformations. You can, of course, vary the gradients. But the key thing is to make certain you change the blending modes so that you can actually see the result of the changes. So go to the Layers panel, and again, remember to change pass-through. If you don't change it, it doesn't matter, you can still continue working, it's just you won't see the end result as the whole, whole lot. And you can set it to lighten, but you can change the gradients itself still, change the colours, and you can select all of those, and then save that to Assets. But remember, always to right-click and Group, so it's all in a single group, and then go to the Assets, and then go to the right side menu, and save that. I'm not going to, I could continue to obviously duplicate and duplicate and duplicate. There's your gradient design created with a combination of the gradient tool and just obviously a rectangle as well as assets. Again, layers, and you can expand that. You can see all the various settings. What you can also do, you can also add an adjustment. So, layer menu, new adjustment. Maybe go for black and white, gradient map, color balance, up to you. Select one of them. And that will add an adjustment layer on top, which is editable. So you can create an interesting design there, gradient map, and you can change the gradient map. So you can create all kinds of different colorful effects. Change the blending mode for the adjustment layer. Maybe darken, multiply, just run through them and try them, experiment or difference, or overlay. Once you've decided on that, what you can do, of course, is you can close the panel, and you can always go back to it, double-click it, but you can select all of those. Now, if you select all of those, it doesn't select the adjustment layer, because, of course, the adjustment layer covers the whole document. So go to the Layers panel and select both. And remember to group, right click and group, because that does need to be grouped, otherwise you won't get the result you want. Go to the Assets panel and go over to the right side menu and select Add From Selection. Your group of shapes, as well as the adjustment layer, are now saved the assets. What you can also do, you can, if you wish, add additional effects, 3D and so on and so on. You can add drop shadows. And of course, there's a number of other options there. And you can expand by clicking that little gear there to see all the various options. And you can add like a Gaussian blur. So I've got 3D there. I find 3D never particularly one I like to use. But I have a tendency to go for like outer shadow and also Gaussian blur. Click that, put that on, and set the radius. So you blur the design. And once you've done that, once you've applied all your effect, what you can then do is close that panel. You can also go to Gradient Overlay. And what you can do, of course, removes everything you've created. Of course, you can, of course, modify the gradient in the Gradient Overlay and maybe use Blending Modes to create an interesting combination as well. Close. Now you can also save that to the Assets panel. So if you go to the layers there now, see the whole thing, the group, got your group. What you can then do, go to the Assets again, and it will also save the FX. And that will be saved there. So you can see a slight blur in effect. Now, if I drag that from the Assets panel, you will see the blur in effect. So I can just remove it. It's easier just to quickly remove. And you can see the blurred design there. And of course, what you can do, it's a vector design. You can resize it. Now, I could have started with 
a star, triangles, etc. But I just wanted a background. Just wanted something so I can, or maybe as an overlay, so I can add it on top of things, etc. And also what you can do, you can add it in. You can paste it in as well, which is quite useful. Also, of course, what you can do, you can add additional shapes on top. And then you can go and use various, go to the layers panel, use blending modes, and you can see you can end up with an interesting gradient generated via that triangle, obviously affecting only a very small part of the image. And that, of course, also can be, if you wish, grouped and saved to your assets if you want to do that. Well, you can also use it with other shapes that design. So I'm just going to quickly show you there. So I've got my asset and I've got, I'm going to go for another shape. And I can just drag that across. The thing is, sadly, there is no place into asset command. So first thing to do is drag from the panel and then place it there. Then go to edit menu and copy. And then you can remove it, but it's stored away in the pasteboard or clipboard. Then select a shape, any shape. I say triangle, perfectly reasonable. Drag down there. And then what you can do, you can go to the edit menu and you can paste. Paste inside. And your design is pasted inside. And of course, what you can do, you can still manipulate it if you wish. So there's, you can move it around just by using the move tool there. You can also go to the, to the layers panel and you can see you've got your triangle at the top, but beneath that, you've got your asset you've just added in. And you can go to the rectangle and you can then use the gradient tool and manipulate that. So you can still edit it. So you can just drag that around, so you move that around. You can see you can change the contents of that triangle or, of course, any other shape. Now, if you go up to the triangle itself, if you select that, and then you obviously get the gradient, because, of course, it had a gradient before, you can still move that around. You see, there's no response. Just work with the rectangle there, and you can then see the result there. You can continue as soon as you click the rectangle. If you click the triangle, it doesn't make any difference, doesn't work. So you need to change via there. And you can change the stops as well, as well as the origin point and also length. Hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Always adding new tutorials about Finity Designer, Finity Photo, and many, many others. Please add some comments. Always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.